Hello guys and welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, I do videos about microbial techniques and diseases caused by microorganisms. Before I ride on, please those who are visiting the channel for your first time, do endeavor to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first to know about it. In this video, I will be covering the following objectives. What is bowel safety? What is a bowel safety level? And the various types of bowel safety levels where I'll be talking about the safety practices, safety equipments, uses and organisms under each bowel safety level. What is bowel safety? Bowel safety is the application of safety precautions that reduce a laboratory's risk of exposure to a potentially infectious microbe and limits contamination of the work environment and ultimately the community. What is a bowel safety level? These are sets of bowel containment controls that are required to separate biological agents based on the risks they cause on the environment and human beings. The controls are based on the infectivity of the disease, the severity of the disease, source of the infectious agent, and the route of invasion into the human body. There are four types of bowel safety levels. Bowel safety level 1 is the level appropriate for work involving well characterized agents, not known to consistently cause disease in immune competent adult humans and cause a minimal potential hazard to the laboratory personnel and the environment. For safety practices, standard microbiological practices are required. The safety equipment required include protective eyewear and protective lab coats. Uses of bowel safety level 1 labs. Bowel safety level 1 is commonly used while performing tests on microbial agents that are not known to cause diseases in immunocompromised individuals. These laboratories include the laboratories used for teaching purposes in colleges and training centers. Some organisms that require the bowel safety level 1 laboratories include Lactobacillus acidophilus and Pseudomonas fluorescens. Bowel safety level 2 Bowel safety level 2 laboratories are the laboratories that are used for the tax involving microbial agents of moderate potential hazards to the laboratory personnel, the environment, and the agent. However, the infectious agents or toxins may pose a moderate danger if accidentally inhaled, swallowed, or exposed to the skin. Safety Practices of the Bowel Safety Level 2 Laboratory People with increased risks of acquiring infections, like the immune-compromised and pregnant individuals, should not be allowed to enter the Bowel Safety Level 2 laboratories while the laboratories are at work. A biohazard symbol is placed on pieces of equipment where biohazardous materials are used or stored. An annual review of the Bowel Safety Level 2 manual should be done to update the guidelines. Safety equipment required for the Bowel Safety Level 2 laboratory. Protective coats are to be worn while entering the laboratory and then removed and kept in the laboratory post work. An autoclave must be available. Uses of Bowel Safety Level 2 laboratories. Bowel Safety Level 2 laboratories are mostly used for routine analysis and culture of moderately hazardous agents. The Bio Safety Level 2 laboratories are also used for teaching and training purposes. Some organisms that require the Bio Safety Level 2 laboratories include the pathogenic strains of E. coli, Staphylococcus, and Plasmodium falciparum. Bio Safety Level 3 Bio Safety Level 3 is a level where work is performed with agents that may cause severe or potentially lethal disease through inhalation or aerosol formation to the personnel 
and may even contaminate the environment. The tasks performed in the Biosafety Level 3 laboratories involve indigenous or exotic agents, where the potential for infection by aerosols is high and the disease may have later consequences. Safety Practices of the Biosafety Level 3 Laboratory The doors of the Biosafety Level 3 Laboratories are closed at all times with appropriate Biosafety Level 3 signs outside the suit, along with a universal biohazard sign and emergency contact information. No work in the Biosafety Level 3 Laboratories should be conducted on an open bench or an open vessel. All the activities involving the infectious agent must be conducted within biosafety cabinets or other physical containment devices. All laboratory equipments should be routinely decontaminated after work or after any spills or splashes. Potentially hazardous materials must be placed in a durable, leak-proof container or vial during collection, processing, storage or transport within a facility. A laboratory-specific biosafety manual, which is available and accessible to all, must be prepared and adopted as a policy. Safety equipment required for the biosafety level 3 laboratories. Biosafety cabinets are to be used for the manipulation of all infectious agents. Individual protection gears like personal protective equipment, coats, gloves, and respiratory protection should be worn while entering the laboratories and then removed before leaving. The air flowing in the laboratory shouldn't be recirculated to any area of the laboratory and should be helper filtered prior to being discharged to the outside. Uses of the Biosafety Level 3 Laboratories the Biosafety Level 3 laboratories are used for clinical, diagnostic, teaching, research, or production facilities. These laboratories are used for the handling and manipulation of highly infectious agents that pose direct severe effects on the health of the personnel. Organisms that require the Biosafety Level 3 laboratory some of the pathogens that require the Biosafety Level 3 laboratories include HIV and Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Biosafety Level 4 Biosafety Level 4 is the highest level that is employed while working with dangerous infectious agents that present a high individual as well as environmental risks in the form of life-threatening disease, aerosol transmission, or unknown risks of transmission. The Biosafety Level 4 laboratories are often used while handling and manipulating risk group 4 pathogens that are extremely dangerous with no known vaccines or therapies and require extreme precautions during work. The Biosafety Level 4 laboratories are of two types. Cabinet laboratory where all the work is performed in a class 3 biosafety cabinet or similar physical containment with very carefully formulated precautions, and the suit laboratory, where all the laboratory personnel are required to wear full body air supply suit protective gears in the form of PPEs. Safety practices in a biosafety level 4 laboratory Viable or intact biological materials to be removed from the class 3 cabinet in a biosafety level 4 laboratory are transferred in a non-breakable sealed primary container with a non-breakable sealed secondary container. No materials except the biological materials that are to be removed in a viable or intact state are removed from the biosafety level 4 laboratory unless they have been autoclaved or decontaminated before they leave the facility. Personnel can enter and leave the facility only after the clothing change and through the shower rooms. A system is set up for reporting laboratory accidents, exposures, and the medical surveillance of potential laboratory-associated illnesses. Only individuals 
whose presence in the facility is required for microbiological processes or support purposes are authorized to enter. Safety equipment required in a biosafety level 4 laboratory. A class 3 biological safety cabinet or class 1 or 2 biological safety cabinet used in conjunction with one piece personal suit ventilated by a life support system are to be present in a biosafety level 4 laboratory while conducting all procedures within the facility. Walls, floors and ceilings of the laboratories must form a sealed internal shell which facilitates fumigation and is an animal and insect proof. A double dot autoclave is placed for decontaminating materials passing out of the facility. The exhaust air from the facility is filtered through helper filters before being discharged to the outside so as to prevent its entry into occupied buildings and air intakes. Uses of the Biosafety Level 4 Laboratory Biosafety Level 4 laboratories are used for diagnostic and research work on easily transmitted pathogens causing fatal diseases. These laboratories are used for new and unknown pathogenic microbes for which no vaccines or therapies are available. They are also used for clinical and production facilities that require highly sophisticated techniques and advanced processes. Organisms that require the biosafety level 4 laboratory. We have organisms such as the Ebola virus and the coronavirus. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification so whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first to know about it.